Hello everyone and welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to be building a scarf rack for my wife out of some scrap 2x4 lumber. To prepare the lumber for this project is a 5 step process beginning here at the miter saw. I trim each 2x4 to slightly longer than the desired length. Step two is to use my joiner to both flatten one face and then square one edge to that face. Step three in this process is to bring all the pieces to their final thickness using my planer. Making sure to place the face I just flattened on the joiner against the bed of the planer, I feed each piece through until I reach the desired thickness. In the fourth step of this process, I place the jointed edge against my table saw fence and trim each piece to slightly wider than they need to be. The fifth and final step is to square the edge I just trimmed at the table saw, both bringing each plank to the final width and ensuring it is square to the other faces and edge. The glue up is fairly straightforward. I don't use dominoes, biscuits, or any other fancy joinery methods. For this project, simple butt joints will work just fine. With the panel completed and the glue squeeze out cleaned up, I trim the panel to its final size. I begin by squaring one edge, then trim it to its final dimension. This is all done with the assistance of my crosscut sled at my table saw. A series of holes needs to be bored for each of the dowels I'll be attaching to the panel. I use a Forstner bit and my drill press to accomplish this. To add a decorative element to the panel, I use an OG bit to route a profile onto all four edges. I start with the end grain first to help prevent any blowout. Creating the dowel hangers is a multi-step process. I first route the rounded profile into the end grain, measure for the length, then cut it to width using my miter saw. I repeat this process until I have as many as I need.
The rounding of the dowels and grain can be a little sketchy. Thinking back on it, I should have come up with some way to hold the dowels in place while rotating them. This could have easily gone wrong and resulted in an injury. This is one of those do as I say, not as I do moments. I decided to recess the hardware into the panel so that the scarf rack can sit flat against the wall. I do this with my router equipped with an edge guide. To prep for the finishing process, I used my random orbit sander to make everything nice and smooth. To secure the dowels in place, I put a dab of glue in each hole and use a square to make sure they are perpendicular to the panel. Scarves are relatively light and won't be putting a lot of down forces on these dowels. This will be more than enough to hold them in place. The finishing process isn't super fancy, I am simply staining the wood then using a spar urethane to protect it. That's it for this project, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button down below and if you want to receive notifications of other projects that I post, please subscribe and enable notifications. There are plans available for this project, a link to them can be found in the description section below. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your weekend.